initial thoughts on, on the way it looks right now is it's a very broad and all-encompassing kind of legislation. At least that's our take on it. And, and we really think that, you know, there may be some legislation needed, but it probably needs to be a little more focused. It, it doesn't really, I don't think, totally address the, the big issue, and that's the problem that came about from all the subprime um, mortgage loans that were originated. Like I say, it's very broad and comprehensive. Very, very generally speaking, from a banker's standpoint, I'm concerned any time that a, a judge has the ability to go in and modify contracts. I mean, basically a mortgage is a contract between a borrower and a lender. And um, so anytime you get a third party that can go in and can modify a contract, it, it, it has some, I think, unintended consequences and some potentially severe repercussions. And mortgages are held as investments. Um, you know, mortgages are, today are written to the great extent pulled so you may have a thousand different mortgages that are underwritten, different parts of the area, different people with different types of credit background and such. They're pulled into a certificate form and then shares of that certificate are actually sold to investors. So who's affected by, by that? Well, not only banks, um, but insurance companies purchase these types of investments, pension plans, purchase these types of investments, um, mutual funds, so just investors in general. So the, the repercussions from this can be very broad and um, may even make the situation worse in ways that, that uh, weren't, weren't expected.